What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now just days ago here at the channel, we did a video covering Captain America New World Order, and the fact that multiple industry insider sources were saying that the title was going to change. And we broke down different factors about Captain America New World Order that could not only lead to the title change, but actually replace it. One of which being the Serpent Society, which had been heavily rumored to be in the film. And so much so during last fall, we already did two full breakdowns on what the criminal organization may be doing in the MCU and in the current point of phase five at the end of last year. Well, today those rumors have become confirmations as we got multiple on-set photos. One former WWE star is now playing a member of the Serpent Society. We're gonna talk about that what he's doing in the film, what his role will be, as well as a first look at Anthony Mackie's brand new Captain America suit, which has heavy shades of the original stealth suit from Winter Soldier. We're breaking down all the latest for Captain America New World Order and the latest for set reveals and confirmations. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is just a month away with Secret Invasion. Again, all you got to do be a sub, leave a comment on the video if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so there are two major set photos that dropped today, both of which will be on my Instagram account. You can literally see the tag right there on the screen. I'll also link it down in the description. It's not that I'm worried about it getting flagged or taken down. It's just sometimes you end up getting copyright strikes from whoever took the photo or the publisher. So just to be safe and to protect the channel, they're over on my Instagram in my stories you can find them there the first of which revealed WWE star Seth Rollins now playing a villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe you can clearly see him wearing tactical getup it's dark green with gold trim especially along the lapel line and down the middle it is very easy to see that this is obviously Serpent Society so where all the rumors pointed to this in the film, it's now confirmed and from onset photos. There's also what looks like another member of the Serpent Society standing next to him uh, in a separate photo. And these were taken at the same time that we got separate set shots of Anthony Mackie for the first time in the new Captain America suit, which is very different than the one we saw at the end of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And in fact, has a lot of shades of what we originally saw with Captain America's stealth suit during the Winter Soldier. You can clearly see from the middle star and emblem line that it looks a lot like that, especially the coloring on the costume as well. And then the red is what's accenting, obviously, his wing gear. But what I will say is it looks a lot more like these brown leather straps on the stealth suit, just red instead of brown. There may be a version of his costume where he simply just has the shield and no wings, although it is hard to imagine why he wouldn't want his wings in, in any situation. Now, we talked about the Serpent Society again at the end of last Last year, but they're a business enterprise of criminals and mercenaries whose costumed identities are based on snakes. I know that sounds a little silly, but remember this is coming from comics and almost 30 years ago, so where sometimes the MCU has to adapt really silly things from the Marvel Universe, it looks as though they're playing into this and totally by the looks of this costume, they're not sort of modernizing it at all. These guys look almost exactly like they do from the comics, and to me, that's super rad. Now, there's sort of an extended storyline here, so I'm going to maybe issue the lightest of spoiler warnings, but this is drawing directly from the comics, so it's not as though this came from a leak of any kind. It's just that one of the members of the Serpent Society named Diamondback actually, unbeknownst to the rest of them, goes behind their back and ends up dating Captain America, where in this film they may also choose to flip it on its head. Maybe Sam Wilson, who she's dating, won't know that she's a member of the Serpent Society, and we assume that the actor playing this character of Diamondback is Zosha Rockmore. A lot was made when she joined the movie. It was announced via The Hollywood Reporter way earlier this year, and it was said she may be Anthony Mackie's love interest, which piqued the rest of us to sort of guess at this plotline, but Serpent Society wasn't confirmed back then. Now that these pieces are starting to move into place, it's a lot easier to see the clear picture of what storyline they're drawing at, so assume Zosha Rockmore going to also be a member of the Serpent Society now that they're confirmed. Also, the love interest of Anthony Mackie, Sam Wilson. And you can sort of fill in the blanks from there why there would be a major conflict of interest if Captain America is dating a member of a terrorist and criminal organization. Speaking of which, remember, this is all ancillary to the overarching plot line of what's happening with the Red Hulk, Harrison Ford being president of the United States. There is a chance he may be president by the time we get to this film, and that's gonna be based on the events of Secret Invasion. But even if he's not, I think what Serpent Society in this film will serve as, and I said this in my previous videos, is basically the precursor to the Thunderbolts. The Serpent Society's criminal organization 
maybe who's working under Harrison Ford's President Ross during this film doing his bidding. If they're defeated at the hands of Captain America, or at this point, should I say Cap Corps, because we know at least Isaiah Bradley's Cap is going to be in the mix as well, and probably a young Patriot. So we're going to see multiple versions of 616 Captain America characters during this film. That was all confirmed during D23 of last year, but while this seems to be running dangerously close to the syndrome of Multiverse of Madness, where maybe it's too ambitious trying to cram too many storylines and too many characters into one film, there is a ton of connective tissue, despite all that, going into Thunderbolts. You'll have Harrison Ford's President Ross basically in both films. There's also another storyline of Tiamat providing adamantium, possibly for the Weapons X program, something that'll feature in both films as well. Now you have the Serpent Society being the precursor for what the Thunderbolts are supposed to be in the following film. So Marvel Studios, where maybe in some of these previous Phase 4 projects played it super safe and there was no connective tissue, it seemed to double down on the opposite of this and give us a through storyline with multiple factors working independent of each other that can continue and make sense and be built out in a couple of films. Serpent Society was rumored to make an appearance all the way back during 2014 and may have played an original role during Captain America Civil War, where it was originally a Mad Bomb storyline, terrorist organization. It was on Kevin Feige's orders that they turn it into Civil War because he thought it was then a way more compelling storyline. That's where probably the impetus for this came in the first place. And honestly, I'm happy that they're touching on a lot of these different parts of the MCU while they have the opportunity. Now, the New World Order title originally, and as I've also talked about at the channel, actually had to do with a Red Skull storyline from the comics, which didn't seem to have anything to do with this plot. Now that we know that the Serpent Society is involved in at least on this level, I think there's a chance that that's what this film will end up being renamed or something to do with that. Or maybe they do end up leaving it New World Order, as many of you indicated on that video from just days ago, you actually really like that title. I'm all ears, guys. Let me know down below in the comments, as always, how hype you are for this, and do we have any major Seth Rollins fans at the channel? Are you excited to see him in the MCU? He definitely looks the part in his getup. Again, you guys can find those set photos over on my Instagram. Okay, quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We are still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel. The next one will be with Secret Invasion next month on the 21st when it goes live. So if you want to be entered to win, it's super simple. All you got to do, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I would sincerely appreciate you checking out my music, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We will be posting again real, real soon. In fact, we have some bangers coming in the next two days. All right. I love you guys. Peace.